Well, hello, YouTubers and RVers. Welcome to another episode of Fun in our RV. And as uh, very often the case, the fun we're going to have today is going to be in installing some type of new quick and easy upgrade that's going to make our life a little bit easier and a lot more fun out on the road, okay? Now, when you get a uh, economy or entry-level RV like this, there's not a lot of... Uh, really fancy things or extra things or stuff like that, uh, you have to do that yourself. It's a lot cheaper for me to do it than for them to pay somebody at the factory to do it, of course. But here's what we're going to do. Here's the problem that most, if not nearly all, these RVs have, and that is for closing the screen door, there's not a really good handle here. You kind of have to reach here and grab this little flimsy little bar whatever screen, the thing that holds the screen there. If this is closed, there's virtually not a handle except for this little thing. And it take, not, you can't hardly grab anything here. And, and uh, uh, if you're not careful, you'll, you'll grab this thing, which is just a piece of plastic, and it'll come out of the little grooves. You gotta bend it and put it back in. That's happened to me several times. Now, uh, the thing is, what you wanna do, of course, is be able to shut this screen, scratch everything, and you gotta pull it with a little bit of force. If it just had a really good handle on it, then um, that would be a lot easier, huh? All right, well, as luck would have it, well, like I said, as luck would have it, Camco has made a whole business out of providing the little things that make our lives just a little bit more fun or a little bit easier when it comes to RVs. They got all kinds of stuff, you know, roof vent covers and and handles and little doodads and stuff like that. That now Camco is not one of our sponsors. Um, I like some of their products pretty good and Camco if you're watching I'm sure we could make a deal so <laughs> anyway uh, now all we're going to do today is we're going to install a handle on the screen door uh, this handle is like I said from Camco it's pretty well made it's well thought out as most of their stuff is it's going to take a screwdriver a, a drill bit and a, a, a drill to, in order to do this it comes with typical Camco fashion, really good instructions. Uh, they come with these templates that you can put on the uh, uh, screen door and mark on it and tape them together per the instructions to make a um, uh, kind of like a little, I don't know, facsimile or something like that to measure your handle on to make sure that when you drill the holes on the back side here, they're in the perfect spot. Now one thing I might do as I'm looking about doing instead of using this I have made little pencil marks but I put these things on all the way and I've made little pencil marks there and there which will wipe off and when I put it up there to measure it I can then say well look here this one here is about two inches from here that one's two inches from there I can measure it and I can make another pencil mark right when I put it up against the door I make a couple more pencil marks and then I can flip it over and I know exactly where to drill those holes for the screws that are going to hold that's going to hold this thing in the right length okay um, and then I have to possibly drill some holes to uh, uh, in, in the door frame for the screws that are going to hold the thing on here. This looks pretty easy. Um, the main thing I'm doing is uh, letting you know that this device does exist and we're going to see how easy it is to put on and I think it's going to make things just a little bit easier rather than having to... Uh, I, I really have. I've pulled on that little plastic thing a couple times and pulled it out and had to put it back in. There's just not a good handle on there for shutting that screen door. Um, and so this should kind of uh, make it a little bit easier. And a little bit easier is a little bit better. And I love it when it's a little bit better going down the road or getting wherever we're going to be, okay? So let's uh, see if we can put this thing on, okay? Oh, remember, as always, I am not an expert. I'm learning how to do this right in front of you. If I make some kind of horrible mistake, well, at least that means you don't have to, all right? And if you find these sort of things interesting that we do, hey, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that little bell, that notification button, that kind of thing. We uh, content makers just love it when you do that sort of thing. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, we love hearing from you, okay? So let's get started. All right, well, we got a couple of decisions to make. Number one, <coughs> of course, is 
where we're going to put this exactly. Do we want it way up here? Do we want it right here? Do we want it here? Some kind of things like that. I am going to put it a few inches above this rail right here. I'm going to use that rail as my guide to make sure it's level, okay? Uh, the other decision that I have to make is exactly how many times do I want to bump my head on here while I'm messing with this. Uh, I'm up to two already, so uh, <laughs> you know I'm I'm playing I'm messing with this, doing this kind of thing, bumping my head. So that you might, might want to decide that ahead of time. I don't know. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be looking at somewhere like there's there's a little bitty edge here, and so that will help me. But you know what? You got to make sure this door is shut because if you're not careful, oh, and I mean this with all you know. If you're not careful, you will accidentally drill holes in here, and that's not good because that's not the door, okay? So make sure you mount it to the door and not to the door frame, all right? So use the door frame here as your stop. And also, you can, remember, I put uh, a little line right here to tell me how far I am from the end, all right? And so I can do that that. Now, some of the uh, instructions that you see on uh, the internet uh, have you taping these things in place while you do it. And I don't think that's a bad idea at all. I brought it with me. It, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a line here and a line there telling me I am about equal distance from each one of these places here. And so I'm really close to the end, all right? I can do this and this. Now, I hold that there tightly. I put another line here and another line here. Now that should let me line those up and flip it over and drill my holes right there, okay? And remember what they say, uh, measure twice, cut once. And some friends of ours on the home network says, <laughs> Ben says, um, measure once, cuss twice, which I thought was brilliant. And anyway, here we go. All right, I'm gonna do this. That, that, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna use just a little bit of slack, leave just a little bit, so this doesn't stand any chance of bumping into that door frame, okay? All right, I think that's gonna work. I think that looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drill my holes in the back. And luckily, they're in the back, so if I do mess up really badly, I could re-drill them and nobody will know the difference. Okay, that, that, a little bit of slack. I'm gonna do it. Now, the other way to do it, of course, is by using these little templates here. You could tape them up and tape them together, tape them together like that, and it'll tell you exactly how long to uh, uh, make your handle and exactly where to put your uh, mounting hole in there for your end pieces. Two ways to do it, okay? Um, Oh, the other way, of course, is uh, use a tape measure. Just measure this distance, put that thing down, put it on, on, on the distance that you want, do it that way. So I, I think these things are really kind of handy. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it the way I've been talking about doing it. But uh, man, the fact that they provide this is kind of cool. It's a little extra you know, bonus step right there to, to help you if you need it. All right, let's try it. All right, I have my first mark, and then I have my second mark right here, okay? Um, tell you what, can you just zoom in real close so they can see my pencil mark? See what I'm talking about? This is going to be where I can then turn it over and drill my little hole there, all right? Okay, here we go.
Of course, I'm doing this on my dining room table, which means I gotta be extra careful not to drill all the way through and then drill a hole in my dining room table or the dinette, okay? We got this, checking everything. Now, in general, when you are drilling into metal, all right, it is always a good idea to do a punch first, all right? You do that because if you don't, the drill will, will move around on the metal, okay? Always do a center punch first. Unless it's really lightweight aluminum, then it's really probably not necessary. And that's why I didn't do that on this. But if you're doing, if you're installing, um, uh, stabilizers to the front of your RV and you're drilling into that that the, the frame or something like that always center punch all right, all right we're gonna do the same thing over here now all right here's my second mark I'm gonna put it up here carefully do it so it'll give me just the right amount of space and again do this Notice also that I've actually got this set on the uh, the screwdriver function instead of the uh, a drill because if I put it on drill, man, it goes really fast, and I'm afraid of going through this 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 thin metal and the plastic. I don't want to do that, so I'm intentionally drilling kind of slowly. Okay. Whoops. Here we go. Here, there's that fast. Look at that. All right. All right. Okay. Now then. Uh, Camco provided me these, these nice screws here like this. I have a choice to make. Do I want to put my uh, screwdriver bit on my uh, on, on my drill and drill these things in? I don't think so. These are a little bitty. I'm not going to bother doing that. I'm going to do that right by hand right here right now. Okay. We're going we're gonna to speed this up. Okay, this bit wasn't quite big enough. We're gonna use a little bit bigger bit. Let's see if that works. Okay, uh, now I have gotten lucky. I am about a quarter of an inch from the uh, uh, actual uh, door frame. So I will be able to put this right here on both sides. And we're gonna be in business. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put it, oh, <clears throat> I'm gonna measure it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it exactly uh, that high. Okay, thereabouts, all right? Okay, that's going to work. I want to leave just a little bit of space between the end here and the door frame. I don't want it to hit. All right. Yeah, all right, here we go. Okay, I'm going to put this about two and a half, three inches above this bar right here. I'm going to mark... Uh, I'm going to measure, mark, and put this, a screw in one end, and then I'm going to bring the other end up to match exactly. Okay, here we go. I 
have put one hole right here. Okay, one, one mark right here for the first hole. Here we go. It's always nice to have a helper, and uh, but if you don't, what you do in a situation like this, rather than have your helper have to hold everything up in place, you drill your first hole, and then that hole becomes your helper. I'm going to move this over about a quarter of an inch. Uh, it'll give me just a little bit more uh, working room here. Yeah, I think that'll be better. I'm going to go ahead and move that over a quarter of an inch. It's not going to hurt anything. Before I drill that hole, I'm going to dry fit it just to make sure it's exactly what I want. Oh yeah. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Okay, good. Notice that this thing, the, my first hole is now covered up. It never going to see it. I am putting these screws in by hand. It's because the instructions cautioned me to do not over tighten these screws because it'll strip out that aluminum. So that's one reason, another reason why I'm using that screwdriver instead of putting the bit on here and trusting that to not strip it out. Oh yeah, that's gonna work a lot better. And don't worry, Judy's going to edit all of this to where it looks like I know what I'm doing every step along the way. But, hey, we're learning together. Okay, let's put the last one in right here. Make that nice and tight. All right. All right, now, right here, we have my pencil marks that I use. I'm gonna, they're gone, it's that easy. Pencil marks on aluminum goes away just like that. And what do you think, baby? I'm so glad you did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. That was just a pain trying to figure out how to close this thing anytime you wanted yeah. to. And uh, so, and now if we have like the uh, um, uh, the the screen. Oops, here we go. Like that open or something. We got a handle there. Instead of using this, and, and like I said, if, if we're trying to keep mosquitoes out, see, I, I'm already in the process here. I've gotten it off the track here. So, anyway, they, uh, 
I gotta put that back on the track. I was in there messing with it, it came off. There you go. But anyway, you don't have to use these things. You got a handle on there now. Uh, I, I think that's gonna be a lot better, don't you? All right, well, I hope you guys uh, think about doing this. It was really a, <laughs> a much easier job than I may have made it look. Uh, but uh, for the price and for the ease and for the convenience, I'm gonna give this a, uh, an A plus. I think it's gonna be one of the better things we've done to uh, make things a little bit better. Here, while we're having fun in our RV, I hope you uh, guys take off. Springtime, we're really itching to go. So uh, maybe we'll see you down the road.